Do you want to tow with an EV? Or are you wondering if the RV that you have can be towed by an EV? Today we're going to talk about three major things you should consider when you're looking for an RV for your EV. So if you're in the market or if you're wondering if you need to trade in your current RV to make the switch, you're going to want to stay tuned. Welcome to the L Electric family. I'm Katie and this is Steve and we have been towing with an EV for more than 5,000 miles. We currently tow our 30 foot Flying Cloud Airstream bunk with our Rivian R1T or our Ford Lightning and we love sharing our family adventures and all the things electric vehicles. So if you love EVs and adventures, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you never miss one of our trips. Aerodynamics over weight. Aerodynamics is way more important than the actual weight of the trailer. It helps you achieve more efficiency while towing and it just tows better. We've tested several different types of trailers and found that aerodynamics has been way more important than the weight of what we are towing. So what makes a trailer aerodynamic? The first thing you want to look for is body shape. The more rounded with less flat surfaces, the better. If you have a big giant flat face behind your tow vehicle, it's going to put a lot of extra resistance on your tow vehicle and therefore reduce your range. So generally speaking, the rounder the better. A lot of times trailers have things that stick out. This is not great for aerodynamics. It disrupts the air and adds resistance to the tow vehicle. So things that stick out might be your AC unit, awnings, door handles. If you don't have enclosed underbelly, all of the tanks that go along the, the underbelly, anything that sticks out from the body of your RV can add resistance to the trailer and decrease aerodynamics. Another thing to think about is the number of wheels or axles on the trailer. Anytime you have extra wheels, it will add rolling resistance to the tow vehicle from the trailer. Having two axles, I don't think there's anything with three axles that can be towed currently by an electric no. vehicle, but having two axles isn't a deal breaker, but just know that if your goal is to get the furthest distance and to have the best efficiency, then you're going to want to stick with a single axle trailer. Consider how you want to use your trailer at charging stops. Since you'll be spending some time there, you're going to want to know how you're going to use it. Do you want to have something with a slide out? Then you're going to have to use more time to find a good spot for that. Sometimes you're, more often times you're going to have to unhook to get that spot. Just have to think about that. Yeah, so the more things you have to open up and set up while you're charging, the less easy it is going to be to use those things while you are at the charging station. And in some places you might not even be able to find a spot to open up your trailer if you want to do that. We love having full use of our trailer when we're at charging stops. We cook meals, we have taken showers, we take naps. We really want to be able to use our trailer to its fullest potential while we're at charging stops. So we have something with no slides and no pop-up. Even if a trailer has a slide out, we have had one in the past that you could still use it. It just felt a little bit more cramped. Yeah, so you can look for one that you still have access to everything when the slide is in. So be sure to look at that when you're looking at the trailers. And another thing you may want to look for is either that it has solar and a big bank of batteries or you can put it in so that you have the use of the electrical systems and such when you are charging um, because there's not going to be a place for you to plug in the trailer unless you plug it into your electric vehicle. Some vehicles are capable of doing that but you can't always do that. So having batteries so that you can run everything can be important. Comfort at your destination. So you also want to think about what do you actually need in a trailer? What is going to make you feel comfortable when you reach your destination because it doesn't have to all be about just towing the vehicle there. An EV can tow anything that's within its payload and towing capacity, so you don't have to pick a trailer just because it's aerodynamic unless you're trying to increase your range and efficiency. You do not have to pick an aerodynamic trailer. If it doesn't fit your lifestyle or your family and you're willing to charge more often because once you get to your destination, you have more of what you want, 
then it may be better for you. Also, if you do not travel as far or not needing those big long legs for the drive, then you don't necessarily need it. Or if you don't have to travel big long distances very often, or you don't mind stopping to charge more often, then you don't have to necessarily pick the most aerodynamic trailer. Those are the three major things that you need to look for when buying an RV for your EV. What else would you like to know about towing with an EV? Leave your questions in the comments. We love building community around people who love to RV and people who are out there living the future now by towing with their EVs. And the comments is a great place to build that community. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you in the next video. To get into the... <laughs> <laughs> I'm confident with you. Ready, go. So rounded with less flat. The more rounded, the more rounded.